I thought that um, obviously it, uh, it's good to win because if you don't, that's you know the end of it for you. And so I mean, it's simple logic when it comes to that. Um, we talked to the team about um, today's game, before the game, about the next moment is the most important one, and uh, I think they respect that. And uh, you know they they knew that or they know the path of what it takes for us to get where we're trying to go. Um, today was that first step for them or for us to, to achieve that, to get that opportunity. Um, it started with Austin Williams. Uh, you get asked all the time, what do you need on days like that? You need your starting pitcher to get eight innings, uh, to be honest with you, so you don't chew up your pen um, with so many games coming in a row, hopefully. And so um, I thought on his behalf that we gave up a run early and uh, he settled in and, and was really good. Uh, I thought his down and away fastball was as good as it's been all year. He's been a quality starter for us all year long. Uh, he was well rested today, and I thought that showed late in the game. And uh, so I was very proud of his efforts. Offensively, I thought we were impatient early. We want When you want something so bad, you'll get out of your norm every once in a while, and you get anxious. We all do. I mean, that's the way life is about just about anything that's important. Um, and we did that. We got out of our, our zones a little bit and chased some balls down out strike zone. Credit their kid for uh, throwing good. Um, then we needed something, a spark, and certainly got it from Tanner, <clears throat> Tanner Hill, who was in the lineup to do just that. And, uh, and so I was proud of him getting us started. Um, I was just trying to go up there every time and have a quality at bat, trying to get on first either, any way I could. Um, I had the walk, which was actually, to me, was the biggest one for myself because uh, it allowed me to lead off with a walk, and then Tanner came up and hit the ball out. So that was a go-ahead for us. And then after that, it was kind of uh, Austin probably got to settle down a little bit more, and we kind of just chipped away from there. I was able to locate my fastball, like Coach said. Um, I was able to throw it down and away to a lot of the guys. Uh, looked like they were trying to pull. A lot, a lot of the hits were just hard hits that were pulled. So I was able to get on the outside part of the zone, throw that well um, against lefties. My changeup was pretty good early. I um, was able to fool them with that. And I was able to throw my slider well enough with two strikes. Um, at the beginning, I couldn't find it, but I ended up settling in a little bit, like you said. We scored runs. And it's always easier to pitch when you, when you start putting a lot of runs up and a lot of momentum. So I uh, just went out there and tried my best with those strikes. Thank you. You got it. I'll go back and say this real quick. I left this part out, and Austin was right. You know, when we hit Tanner hit the home run, it was a great at bat. I think Austin might have been in the 0-2 or 1-2 count. Yeah, not <laughs> an 0-2 count and, uh, and battled back and didn't expand the zone. And, um, I, you know, that kind of got it got it going for us. Well, you got to control the run game. Um, you know, they, they got after us the other day. You know, when we were in Lafayette, we did a good job with that. And, um, you know, yesterday we did not. And uh, that's no secret. You can go back and watch it, and, and, uh, and y'all were all there. And it's something that you have to do. They're good at it. They, they're very creative offensively. Um, they can come at you a lot of different ways. And so they force you to pay attention to every – Every avenue of the game offensively, you have to pay attention to it and be good at it um, because they continually put, you know, pressure on you. And so for us tomorrow, I think we got to control the run game. All right. You got it. Thanks, fellas. All right. Okay. Well, again, uh, I thought our kids really came out with a lot of energy and, and played hard throughout the game. And, you know, unfortunately, uh, you know, we, we gave up a few long balls, but Alex did a great job uh, giving us an outstanding start. And then uh, Ross has really been clutch all weekend for us, you know, in the tournament. But uh, for us to get to the tournament and, uh, and do some things, you know, one and two, uh, not always what we wanted. You know, it never is unless you win the thing. But uh, the kids certainly gave a great effort, and I'm very proud of what they did. And they represented the university very well. And, uh, you know, we got some things to improve on. But uh, we'll, we'll certainly look at it and evaluate and, uh, and get back to it next year. And, and hopefully we're in the same position 
uh, you know, in Troy, but uh, very pleased with our kids and uh, they battled through a tough year and, and, and gave us everything they had. So I'm, again, can't say enough about these kids and their approach and their attitude and, and hanging in there tough. Uh, so again, it, it's a credit to these kids that they put us in this position and uh, unfortunately you have to say goodbye to the seniors, but um, you know, they're gonna be fine and, and we'll help them any way we can, but uh, very proud of what they did this weekend. thing in a big tournament like this was just having fun, uh, just relax, just know that all year that you've been working for is, uh, you know, it, it shows towards the end once you just relax and have fun. I mean, I don't know, it just seems like every time we need a big game, Coach Petty usually goes to me for the start. And I don't know, I just, I like that situation. I like being in that situation. I was begging Coach Thomas to go back out. But I mean, the guys played hard for me. They made plays all day. I can't give enough credit to them. I mean, I felt good out there, so. I think the most important thing was just uh, timing the pitcher up, just make sure the front foot was down early enough to be able to recognize the ball earlier and just try to slow the game down. Uh, mainly the fastball, honestly. I was keeping it down for the most part of the game except for the one pitch up to, to Hill and I just left it up, it was just one bad pitch. but. Uh, my slider started working in the later innings, so that kept him a little bit off balance. Um, and that was mainly it. We were just going to those two mainly. A couple change-ups, it wasn't really there for me today, but fastball and the slider was pretty much what it was going to. Well, the, the biggest thing in the approach that we had to take off of him, he was really locating the outside fastball uh, for OO pitch. Um, he did a great job. You can't say anything uh, bad about him. I mean, he dominated us um, early, and then we were able to get some good swings. You know, had some opportunities. We didn't cash in, so he really gutted it out. Um, but, you know, he, he keeps you off balance with his off-speed stuff. Uh, good location all day long, and uh, we were just trying to fight and, and get some good quality swings off of him. We had some opportunities to cash in, and, and that's really where he got tougher, and, and you know the off-speed stuff really worked for him. But um, you know he did a great job on Friday against us back in Monroe. Same team, same thing again today. But we had some opportunities, and, and we just didn't get that key hit, you know, with guys in scoring position. Yeah. Well, again, you know, this is one thing with this team that there's there's no quit in them. Um, they're they're certainly battlers. Uh, they fight, and, and I knew they would get some things going even in the ninth inning. But um, you know, again, when you get that performance, and, and I think we got a little deflated with the last run, uh, home run, and and uh, you know, but we went out there and we got the leadoff guy on and uh, had some opportunities. Stitch did a great job getting that double for us, and. Um, you know, Stockton put a good swing on it, and that's the thing. The, when we had those opportunities, we had good swings, but we were hitting them right at people. And uh, but you know, that's a credit to making good located pitches. And but these kids don't have a, a quit in them, and, and they're certainly battlers. And I'm just proud of what they did all throughout the year. And, and you know, it's not surprising that we were able to scratch another run out in the ninth. And uh, but again, just a little short today, and uh, we got some things to work on and make some improvements. But um, you know, for us to get here and continue to battle for three great games, um, you know, that's a credit to these kids.
Right. Well, again, look who they are, too. You know, Dumaine's a senior that's really battled for us. Uh, you know, he's had some ups and downs, but uh, he's really been throwing the ball very well at the end. So I wasn't surprised with his start today. Um, you know, Herm, you know, we, we've been waiting for it, and we know what type of pitcher he, he really is. And then what Bray did against ULL, uh, you know, just to, they gave us an opportunity, and that's all you can look for with your start and pitching. Um, you know, and, and I think the kids realize, you know, they're, they're pretty close. They just got to work on a few things, and uh, we'll, we'll get back on the road recruiting and, and fill some of our weaknesses. But, um, you know, overall, I think we did a good job with what we had, and, um, you know, they continue to fight, and I'm really just really proud of them. And, and it's a tough, tough road now having to travel home and, uh, you know, a tough pill to swallow knowing that, you know, a 4-2 game, you were 3-3 in the, in the eighth, you know, with ULL, um, you know, and a, and a great victory yesterday. But uh, nothing to be ashamed of, very proud of what they've done, and uh, we just got to continue to move forward with the program now.